We look good, right? We look great. Jesus, Daddy. Oh, this one my father gave me. Lovely. Could you kindly point it in any direction other than my head? It's not other than my oh, I guess it is. For God's sake, Denny. Oh, lighten up, will you? What in God's name? And it is in God's name, Shirley. The right to bear arms, second commandment. That would be the second amendment. That's Step up here, Mr. Crane. You can stop trying to get yourself off the case, counsel. That isn't going to happen. Look, Judge, I can't defend a man who raped and murdered a 13-year-old girl. Somebody's got to do it. Why me? Because I said so. Which brings me to my second issue. Which is? You're a douchebag. I don't do well with douchebags. I'm Danny Crane. As far as he knows, I played it straight. You know, they can never tell whether I know what I'm doing or not. Yes. Can you tell? Not really. Every once in a while, just to keep them guessing, I stick a cigar in my ear. Do I look silly? Try it. we do. Got the cigar in the ear again. Need to amuse myself in ways I can't get sued. Danny, we've got... What's going on? A little maintenance work, Paul. Wouldn't hurt you, by the way. You look like a prune. We have the cane of meeting in 15 minutes. Excellent. Why do I care? You care because this is the construction project that the entire firm has been working on for 18 months. You care because Byron Caneb cares and he expects you to be present. No! Oh! Damn it, man, what have you done? Uh, the needle broke. Not to worry, just let me remove it. Don't you touch me. Mr. Crane, half the needle's still in your forehead. Just let me remove You're it. You're not touching me. Get Dr. Michaels back down here. This is what happens when I let his kids cut their teeth on my head. If I could just remove the needle. Don't you touch me. Denny, there's a needle in your head. Let him at least remove it. Get me Dr. Michaels. Denny, you know what's going on? Why are you women in my office? You really don't realize what's happening? I think I do. Let's take off our clothes. A man has a gun trained on Ellen Shore out there. That's why the police are here. Out there? He's threatening to kill him. Didn't anybody come and get me? All right, then. Are you mad? Mr. Bennett really don't think that's a good idea. It's a fantastic idea. Denny, the police are already here. Yes, I can see they got everything under control. Sir, we just want to have a conversation. If that phone even rings, I'll shoot. Do you hear me? Tara, when I say open, you open that door. I suddenly will not. I'm an ex-Marine. I was a trained sniper. Or was it a pilot? Mr. Flores. Don't use my name! Put that gun down. You'll get everybody killed. Your cue to yank open the door. You are mad. Don't bear us to kill us. Sir, pick up the phone. Don't make it ring. 
I'm warning you. I'll shoot. Do you hear me? came in quickly. Maybe word got out I don't eat them. I must be up to 15 by now. Not that I'm counting. Denny certainly isn't. Picture? Why not? Couldn't be closer to your mouth. Oh, it's a steelhead. You got a steelhead. It's more beautiful than the next. Don't squeeze them too tight. You miserable bastard! God, these things are strong. They really are extraordinarily beautiful creatures. 